Hi right, guys, welcome to Leicester Fan TV. What can I say? Anfield. Ah, so many decisions to talk about tonight. The referee, the two red card decisions. I am fuming. The Chuckle Brothers was on show last night. Yannick Vestergaard and Ryan Bertrand. We're also going to get stuck into that. We've got a lot to talk about. Um, James Madison, absolute banger. Uh, Brendan Rodgers' tactics again, second half. Players who's going to be missing against Manchester City. Um, I mean, 3 1 up, and we effed it up. Um, you just knew something was going to happen when you're bringing them pair, pair on. Um, guys, as always, get your views in, get your comments in. Smash a like, share, subscribe to Leicester Fan TV. As always, um, we've got a jam-packed show. Um, follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Facebook. Wherever you can find us at Leicester Fan TV, please drop us a follow. Smash a like on Facebook. Um, and let's get going then with... The post-match talk with Jack as Les Lestor are out the cup. Let's get going. Welcome to Leicester Fan TV. Are you ready for the show? Thanks to our sponsors, ADT Taxis, Everards, Pucka Pies, Pink Car Leasing, Leicester Riders, Hologram, The Fox's Arms, Peter's Pizzeria, Hope Against Cancer, and Newbie and Co Estate Agents. We want your views, we want your comments, so join us live. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Evening all. I hope you're well. Um, yeah, let's talk about Anfield then. But first, smash a like, share, subscribe to Leicester Fan TV if you can, please. If you're watching tonight, it'd be much help. Um, we're not far away from 9K, so please go and do so. Um, we are live, obviously, tomorrow with Reedy talking Leicester, Manchester City. Um, another big game and an injury crisis. I mean, how many more injuries are we going to have at Leicester City Football Club? Um, guys, get your comments in then. Ethan, Rogers out. I just knew one comment. We're going to come about that tonight. How are you doing? Derek, I'm fine, mate. How are you? Um, we don't have mon the money to sack him. Do you know what? If Brendan Rodgers gets a sack, who are we going to bring in then? That's the question. Uh, unpopular opinion. It wasn't Rodgers' fault that we didn't win yesterday. Well, other fans would seem to think different. Nick, to be honest, it's Rodgers' tactics what cost us. Obviously, Cags had to come off due to injury. Jamie Vardy should have come off as well. Uh, Rodgers out, says John Squires. Jason Mills, evening, pal. How are you? Not really much to say. Injuries was forced us into the change that eventually cost us. No point blaming Brendan. He can only use what he's got to work with. Yeah. I mean, the formation again, though, Jason, the five at the back. I mean, you know, you don't bring Bertrand on, do you, really? You don't need to. I mean, you could have brought somebody else on. Um, we had chances. Ethan, Vardy one-on-one, -on -one, yes. Nacho should have scored that tap in. And KDH had a great... Opportunity. Uh, Vestergaard wasn't even bad, mate. Bertrand should be getting slapped up by the rest of the players. So, <laughs> do you know what? Right, Bertrand is probably out for revenge uh, since losing 9 0 to Leicester in St. Mary's again, sent off. Maybe Ralph Hassan, who will send him on a mission. Uh, who knows? You, you don't really know, do you? 3 1 up and we lose. That's been the moral all season, hasn't it? But then, you know, Liverpool ran at us, threw everything at us, and we just do not know how to handle that sort of pressure. Newcastle and Watford never ran, never gave us that sort of game. When it comes to bigger sides like that, I know it's a B team, but they still 
K matters. I mean, people thought, you know what, Leicester put their first 11 out. It's a walk in the park. I mean, it's not, you know what I mean? Anyone could lose to anybody and it just proved it. Uh, evening, Jack. I've had enough of Rogers. He's dragging us down and needs to go. Last night was an ab absolute diabolical. We are winning and go defensive and snatch defeat from the jaws of victory. Well, do you know what? I would still have gone attacking um, in that second half. I don't see why he defended. It's just ridiculous, to be honest. And people who blame the ref are just trying to escape the fact that we were awful second half. You know, Brendan Rodgers blamed the ref. Casey, how are you, pal? Yeah. Derby could do with someone like Ryan Birch, and I'm sure in League One next season. All of our goals were from Liverpool mistakes. We were poor throughout most of the game. You know, Dakar played well, I thought. Um, we have absolutely zero chance at Manchester City. Do you know what? They beat Leeds 7-0 and I think they beat Newcastle 4-0. Um, what does that tell you? 11 goals. I mean, they're on a nine-game Premier League run, Manchester City. And who's next up at the Etihad for Manchester City? Leicester City. And we're, we are crisis. Agreed, Nacho had a hash of his attempts. He wasn't too good, though. At any point in a game, I reckon we could actually win at Manchester City. We have, yeah, we do. Do you know what? Absolutely seen fight in the players yesterday. Um, can't say that was an issue. The effort was there. Do you know what? We can all agree on that, to be honest. Uh, we need more players than Newcastle. Bad, ta bad tactics, bad subs and a poor referee. Well, this is what you get in it. Hello from Venice, California. I watched yesterday um, the game against... Game again. The subs changed the game, not for the better. Do you know what? Yannick Vestergaard and Ryan Bertrand, the Chuckle Brothers. Uh, what do you expect bringing them pair into the team? You're not really going to get much out of it, are you? Yes, we bottled it. What a game it was, though. Well, maybe for a little... It wasn't the first half for Leicester. I mean, you know, second half. What did we even do? You know, we, we, we sat back and defended. Can we please go back to a fast attacking football we used to play and not play defensive like the top teams? Because that never works. Do you know what? Ask Brendan Rodgers that. Why did you need to change it when, you know... We could have kept Dakar on. I mean, Vardy's got a hamstring injury now, so it's very worrying. A lot of positives to take. Yeah, at the first half, I thought positives, yeah. Ben Nelson is a centre-back and Ryan Bertrand isn't. I thought I'd seen the back of Ryan Bertrand after that Napoli performance. Gave away three goals. Clock kicks every ball and Brendan Rodgers impersonates the seal. Well, yes, we should have gone on for more goals. Best of God. And Bertrand, garbage buys. Well, human lamppost. I mean, best of God. Disaster God, should we call him? Um, we will surely shift five or more versus Manchester City. Well, pray for Pereira. Uh, we will struggle to keep Man City below five. We'll all have to stand on the line against Manchester City. I mean, they're going to be running at us. We will get smashed by Liverpool and Manchester City. We need to take it to be seriously raid the low market. You know what? Who's out there? Uh, thoughts on all the feed the scousers and F the Tory business. Do you know what? I mean, I know people who's been in poverty and that. Um, it's not nice to see. Um, but, I mean, Liverpool was gesturing helicopters and... Speaking really bad about Vishai, which was very sickening. Um, at the end of the day, they're just as bad. Um, you know what I'm saying? Liverpool, they went below the belt during the game and after the game. And it was disgusting what was coming out of their mouth. I mean, helicopter gestures, really. You don't need it. I mean, the, the guy, it's just mad. I couldn't believe what I was hearing or seeing. Um, but I guess that's what you get with some Liverpool fans. Absolute idiots. Um, players were flat yesterday. Uh, Ward would have saved a few of them. Apparently, Ward's got COVID, I've I've heard. Um, not expecting anything against Manchester City. Defenders are all out injured. Well, 
Couldn't handle the intensity yesterday. Jealous of that atmosphere. What atmosphere? Liverpool only turned up when they were scoring goals. Um, it's just crazy. I mean, what the atmosphere was good from the Leicester fans yesterday. Yeah, credit to the five thousand that travelled yesterday um, to see the boys. Um, Scousers always the victims. Well. Apparently so. Um, horrible result last night. Man really thought we had won it. I did in the first half, but you can't take anything away from it. Liverpool, far better team second half. They come out and attacked and we we put it in their hands, shall we put it. Brendan Rodgers, um, he found a way to let Liverpool win. Um, Liverpool score called Bin Dippers for a reason. Um, yeah, Leicester fans did us proud top marks. Yeah, I know Liverpool are obviously going mad about this so-called feed the Scousers, let them know it's Christmas time. Um, but, you know, I, don't, I don't defend it, but at the end of the day, what can you do if they're going to give it with the so-called helicopter gestures and that, then they're just as bad as well. Um, Leicester out the cup then. Let's talk po post match then. Um, Liverpool versus Leicester post match, guys. Get your comments in for me, please. We're gonna have this red card debate. We're gonna have this red card debate. I don't care. It needs saying. First off, we're gonna talk about the Morton challenge on Ricardo Pereira. Red or no red? Definitely a red in my eyes. I was there yesterday. Um, yeah, it's all banter. Two red cards. Yeah, Leicester fans did as proud. We did. Uh, Casey calls them bin dippers. Well, Liverpool, you know, it's, it's mad. Clear red. Yeah, simple. The manager messed it up again. Two reds. Clear red. It was a clear red. Um, Morton. Where was the ball then? I mean. Ricardo injured and then he went down two times after that. Uh, Luke Thomas elbow as well. Yes, their city is blue just like Leicester. Well, maybe that's true. Um, Jota's elbow then on Luke Thomas, guys. That's the, 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 I've looked at it from another angle again. I know the first angle wasn't great, but the second one proved it. Um, Absolute shocking from Diogo Jota. Um, and then he goes and swears at the Leicester fans and that afterwards after he scores his penalty. R ridiculous, really. Where's your professionalism, Mr. Jota? Um, where is your professionalism? Because that, that stinks. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. Um, and let's get some more comments in then. Different game. Should have been an assault charge, not just two reds. Uh, Sims minutes injury time. The ref was wanting them to score. He was in Jota's ear for the penalty. If you've seen it, um, forgot the red. He knackered Ricky P up again. Yeah, straight red. I can guarantee if it was our players, it would have been red cards. Yes, it would have, and I agree with that because it's at Anfield and then this big club, they get everything. I'm fed up with it. No VAR yesterday either. Um, they need these. It's just ridiculous. All changes on Siuntu going off. Brendan changed the whole system because he doesn't have faith in Vestergaard or Bertrand. If he doesn't have faith in Vestergaard and Bertrand, then why is he bringing them on? Why is he bringing the Chuckle Brothers onto the pitch? I mean, Vestergaard runs like Uncle Albert, for God's sake. What do you expect? Mate, we sound like Arsenal fans. Can we stop blaming the referee for losing the game? Seriously, we are poor. Second half, didn't deserve anything. We're not blaming the referee. Even as much as I'd love to say a lot about that Mr. Referee yesterday. I'm not going to go there. I think Vestergaard did all right last night. I mean, I'm not a fan of Vestergaard. Um, he's a lamppost. Just stands there. I mean, that second goal proved it. He didn't move until Jota ran past him. It was like playing stuck in the mud. If you've ever played that game as a kid, you'll know what I'm on about. Um, let's talk about Mr. Rogers' tactics then. First off, spot on. Attacking, created space, got him behind that Liverpool defence. Second off, complete opposite. 
absolutely diabolical second half. They had so many corners, Liverpool. They attacked us. And we just let them come and we can't handle that pressure. Um, then they scored, obviously, Jota. And then the second one, Miramino in the 94th minute. Who's defending what? I mean, what are we getting out of it? Sitting off the ball and allowing them attack. What are we getting out of it? We're not getting nothing positive out of it. Oh, it's too negative. And I don't like it. Brendan went back to his old ways in that second half yesterday. I know people are going to say, yeah, but Cags went off. But Vestergaard still should be good enough to get to do the job when asked upon. But he just isn't. Brendan's only got one plan. When one plan doesn't work, he don't know what to do. Um, it's because Anfield is fixed. Look at cheating pen they got with Albrighton three years ago. Yeah, look at... I mean, Liverpool, yeah, fans cry that Harry Kane should have been sent off, yeah? Yesterday, them two red cards that should have been given, they're all right with that. Oh, no, it's all right. Our players have fouled their players. Oh, no, it's fine. Just get up, Leicester. No punishment. They didn't need punishment. Oh, it's a dive. It's a fair tackle. You're joking, aren't you? I'm sorry I'm on one tonight, guys. I'm, I'm fuming after yesterday. Um, he only had one tactic. Rogers too negative instead of going for the juggler. You know what? You free one up and you effed it up. I mean, it's ridiculous. If you can't beat Liverpool's B team or whatever you want to call them, kids, what chance have you got of beating Manchester City at the Etihad on Sunday? I mean, that. I worry. I mean, we've got injuries now. Vardy, Siunchu. It's just crazy. Uh, someone needs to go and show a vid from 2016. Um, and it will show counter-attacking football. Do you know what? Yeah, it's true. Dalton, we gave the game away second half. We did. Why didn't Vards take a penalty? He had an hamstring injury in. Um, look at the photo of the chance on Ricky. He may as well have another Achilles injury there. Uh, we never have a backup plan. We don't. We're stuck. Look at Samore. Too much time on the ball yesterday. That cost us for that first goal. And then they got the ball in the box with Firmino and then he had so much time on the ball as well. Just come and tackle him, innit? I mean, you know what I'm saying? I mean, then Oxlade-Chamberlain scored. Get... It is ridiculous. Playing five at the back invited them to attackers. Yet, yeah, we didn't press them in that second half. We sat off them and allowed them to come. How many times, Leicester fans, have we done that this season? It's beyond a joke. I agree, Liverpool fans are a bit clueless, but let's focus on ourselves. Yeah, Sun Chu, clash yesterday, got injured due to Casper's. Yeah, he did. That kick by Casper, you know what I mean? Firmino, Rin. Uh, Rogers Tatsley in Epps. If plan A doesn't work, press on with plan A. <laughs> Sums it up, Ian. I agree with you, mate. I went yesterday, but I'm over it now. We've seen it many, many times over the years. We knew when. Vardy and KDH missed those chances to kill it. It wasn't that. It was the case that Brendan's tactics got it wrong. Casper's distribution put the opposition on the front foot. Well, this is it, Leicester fans. Let's talk about the Chuckle brothers then. Paul and Barry. No, I'm joking. Yannick and Ryan. There we go. Yannick and Ryan, the Chuckle brothers, or the Southampton Chuckle brothers, or... <sighs> Let's talk about Vestergaard and Bertrand. Have they fulfilled what we should be having at Leicester City? Lee Congerton. Wow. What, who, who even brought them players in? I mean, he brought Ryan, uh, Ryan Bennett, for God's sake. I thought that was worse than off watching Vestergaard. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah, but I don't rate them. For me, they don't deserve to play in a Leicester shirt. They're not good enough. Um, it's a step backwards than a step forwards. Um, need to recognise our recruitment this summer hasn't been up to scratch. Yeah, agreed. Tactics again, but no one talks about Rogers out. So painful to watch every week. We put in a good performance. Do you know what? Yeah, we're very good in one half and very poor in the second half. I mean, we're one half team. We need to play two halves. Football is 90 minutes, not just 45. Brendan needs to understand that. Albert and Harold Steptoe, Bertrand and Vestergaard, get rid. <laughs> Uncle Albert. It's mad. 
Can't believe we paid 15 million for a lamppost. Well, I've got one outside my house. I mean, I'm sure Leicester could use it, but we don't want a second lamppost, do we? Only lights up when when it comes to like evening time. Does anyone think we should give Ward a go in goal now and get rid of the both Southampton players? I agree. Uh, bring back Steve Walsh instead of Congerton. Yeah, apparently Steve Walsh. Apparently there's been rumours that he could be coming back. Um, hamstring injury, get Steve Walsh back. Bertrand looked good till he had COVID. He's not just not been the same since. Well, it's just crazy, isn't it? Um, let's talk about Kane and Jewsbury Hall then. Another fantastic performance yesterday. Could have had himself a goal, Leicester fans. Um He's been great this season, obviously, since he's been on loan to Luton. Rodgers needs to go, pay for quality managers, take us to the next level. That's not going to happen right now, though, is it? I mean, if Rodgers leaves, who are you going to bring in? Who's better? Where do we go from there, then? Because we're halfway through a season. I mean, I don't know. It's it's very mind-blowing for me, I think. Um We've missed out on a trophy in it now. Obviously, people call it the Mickey Mouse Cup. Liverpool brought all the good Southampton players. Yeah, Adam Lallana and Ricky Lambert. I remember that. Jose Fonte, I think. Um, I find it unbelievable. Rogers still has a job. The Ajax manager. We have no money. Get rid of him. Uh, we need to sue Southampton for selling his faulty goods. Andy Meadows, have you got that receipt? Um. Ryan Bertrand is rubbish in the cup. Um, Reed Rogers top will sort it out. He won't miss. Do you know what? I mean, looking at Ryan Bertrand, he stuffed it up in the Europa League. We could have gone in to beat Napoli, but he conceded three goals in defence. What is he doing? Um, our season is virtually over. Well, Get Wenger. <laughs> he wants back in the Premier League. Awesome, Wenger. He struggles even to do his coat up, let alone manage another club. Um, it's crazy. Guys, smash a like, share, subscribe to us on YouTube. If you're watching tonight on YouTube, please, if you haven't already, push that notification button. Um, it's a great chat so far. Um, and it's good to have this debate because... Everyone's opinion on Leicester Fan TV matters. Whether you're deluded, whether you're right, whether you're wrong, everyone's opinion matters by the fans, for the fans. Um, so, yeah, please like. If you're watching us on Facebook and YouTube, um, it'd be much appreciated, guys, as always. Our defenders are awful. We can't play under pressure. Rogers won't turn it around. Uh, we out. Spurs, Spurs. Well, at least we're in a cup competition. Come on, you're, you're up. I mean, what are Spurs winning? Hmm, I wonder. Not much. Um, I think a decision will be made when we reach 40 points. Um, it's a bit harsh to say we totally bottled it. When we lose our remaining best defenders, we will never know how much different the game would have been if Cags and Pereira were still playing. Do not I agree? Why was Castagna absent? COVID. I believe I've read in reports it's COVID. Um, did you get them wheel trims? I asked for Jack. <laughs> Andy Medhurst, worried about the next two games of injuries. Well, Yannick Vestergaard could be in defence for Leicester City at the Etihad. Oh, God. Please turn away now. I'll be like this, watching it through my jumper. Um, you know, it's, it's mad. It's crazy. Um, we just need to get behind the boys, though. It's frustrating. James Madison, then, versus Liverpool. What a banger. David Beckham-esque. What a rocket from Amadas. Um, That's Madders. It's his best. He's scoring quite a lot of goals now. Here's a question for you, then. Yuri Tillemans against Brentford or James Madison against Liverpool? Put your votes in now. Whose goal was better? Who deserves the best goal of the season? Madison or Tillemans? Get your votes in now. 
Whoever's got the most votes wins wins it. Never seen our defence so bad. Who do we bring in? Thoughts? Tarkovsky. Uh, is a Marty out? I prefer him to Festigar and Suntry. You know what? Marty's been very underrated this season. He doesn't get the credit he deserves. I think he's been fantastic. Our best defender so far, Tillemans. Keeper should have stopped it. Uh, I would like to know why we lose focus. Well, so would I. I mean, Tillemans, because he single-handedly won us that game. That's three for Tillemans. One for Madison, one for Tillemans. Play Schmeichel and Danny Ward against Manchester City. What, Danny Ward up front? Are we going Danny Ward up front, Schmeichel in goal, are we? Or are we just going to have Danny Ward stand at the uh, back post and just swap over? <laughs> one best one saving it on the Ward's turn. It's all right. <laughs> uh, it's crazy. Um, but yeah, what a banger by Madison. Um, it was good to see that last night. Um, Siunchu, Vardy and Ricardo, hamstring injuries. How much of a big miss will they be? Obviously, I know Cags had that injury against Newcastle right at the end. Um, Vardy felt his hamstring go in the 60th minute, but chose to carry on. Ricardo, it was Morton's fault. Blame Morton. Hashtag Morton out. Um, Matters is back, you'll know. Really wants that England call up. Well, we will need them both in goal. We need a brick wall in goal, I tell you. Um, that way, we won't concede as much. There is seriously possibility Man City will beat us 4 or 5 nil. We look similar to, to Leeds. We are so poor in our tactics raw for as soon as we go ahead. Well, will Kells get a start against Manchester City then? It be, remains to be seen. Um, Kells obviously a starter, scored quite a lot of goals last season, signed that new contract. Hasn't been in the team since, uh, apart from subs. But Kell. He's not an impact player, he's a starter. That's where he gets most of his goals. Tillemans' goal reminded us of Barnes against Sheffield United away. What a banger. I remember that. I was there in the sunshine in Sheffield that day. Even if we had a brick wall in, in goal, Siunchu would accidentally kick a hole in it and then they'd score. Best of God would knock it over. <laughs> it pushed Bertrand into it. <laughs> and then they both cut it black up to dumps. He sat on the wall. Leicester City had a great fall. Um, it'd be mad, honestly. Um, Ward and Castagna COVID then, I hear. I hear they was the only two with COVID. So, that's that sorted out. Um, Harvey Barnes could be missing next game. Brendan Rodgers said he's not fit or anything. So, he obviously said in his press conference after the game yesterday that Harvey Barnes is going to be missing. How much of a blow are these players then? James Justin, it's crazy. Uh, played Dakar against Man City, he's class, he is. You know what, Pats and Dakar and Vardy were fantastic yesterday. Don't play Barnes up against Walker. Walker had him in his back pocket last time he did. By the way, if we lose by more than f five goals, then Rodgers has to go. People who say that we are missing our best defenders are sleeping on the fact we spent £15 million on Vestergaard. <sighs> Crazy. Uh, surely Nacho starts now. Well, I'd start two up front rather than one up front, but that's my opinion. Um, the Barnes one, though. I mean, where was Lockman yesterday? Apparently, he wasn't fit either. Um, Daka, you know, he's proven his worth. Um, we didn't see Perez yesterday either. Um, Leicester fans, who... Is the worst signing of Lee Congerton's time at Leicester? Bertrand, Vestergaard, Perez, um, Ryan Bennett. Who? You choose. Um, we need to wrap everyone in cotton wool at the moment. If it ain't injuries, it's COVID. It is. Look at Everton. Five more COVID cases and the Premier League are them to carry on. Oh, Chengiz under as well. Yeah, we'll put them in there. So, that's disrespect on the Undertaker's name, that. He didn't really bury... Many of his demons did um, Cengiz under when he were at Leicester. Uh, Vestergaard, Natch would start. He won as the Community Shield. He did. Uh, we have no one left. If no one, Barnes or Luckman, 
Average, we are bang out of luck. No left winger, no right winger. We struggle to keep the ball at the back. 100% Vestergaard. Vestergaard it is then. Um, it is crazy, honestly. Um, guys, thank you so much for watching tonight. It's been great talking to you all, as always, um, so far. Mate, right, Bennett, we had to sign. Otherwise, we would have had to play Wes Morgan, who literally had a broken back. Wes played through anything. Uh, Chuckle Brothers, Vestergaard is Bertrand's in disguise and Bertrand is pants. Uh, why was Barnes missing? Apparently he's got an injury. Well, it could be COVID. Who knows? Vestergaard did all right last night. No. Well, what did Vestergaard really do? I mean, I've seen him made that challenge on the floor, sliding tackle. He didn't move for Jota. After Jota ran past him, he didn't move. He started moving after that. Um, it looked like he was stuck in the mud. Um, and then the second goal, Wilfred Ndidi missed that header and then Vestergaard were nowhere. To, none of the defence were there to be seen, to be honest. But when Vestergaard and Bertrand came on, it gave Liverpool advantage. Liverpool thought, you know what? Leicester's changed the tactics now. Leicester are going to sit off us now. We're going to go and attack them. And they did exactly that and got the win. Um, let's give Nelson an opportunity. Regis said... We had no fit wingers yesterday. What does he see in all, as Albright and then? Well, Albright played at right back yesterday. I don't think he did too bad. KDH is so good for us. The only thing Vestergaard did was move to come on the pitch. Well, interesting. Can't believe how far we have fallen in four months. Neither can I. But, you know, you we've just got to get beyond our boys. Um like I say, I'm a here and now person. I'm not a man who's going to sit there and say, oh, yeah, but we're in League One 13 years ago. doesn't matter. It's the here and now that matters, Leicester fans. Um, do you know what I'm saying? Yes, the FA Cup and the Community Shield goes down in history. So does the Premier League title. But it's the here and now that matters. It's what's happening now on the football pitch and not back then. I mean, you know... You don't really want to look back at Matt Mills' time at Leicester City, do you? Michael Morrison and people like that. You know, we could be looking at Alexander Tunchev's time at Leicester if we're going back that far. Um, or Barry Ailes, if you remember him. Um, game might be postponed, hopefully. Should never have let Pratt go. Pratt was fantastic um, until he got injured. Um, look where we were last December. Look where we are now. Well, we're ninth from the table. Uh, yeah, assisting back was stupid, given who our back five consisted of. Ranieri was sat for less. He was. Ranieri, I think we maybe would have got relegated that season if he'd stayed on because we didn't look at it. We only showed up in the Champions League. How Vardy not got a hat-trick. I literally 16-17 uh, all over again. Um, as per, we bring the ex-Southampton players on and we lose. I mean, they both lost 9-0 twice, then pair. I'd be happy to see the back of them. I don't think they've proved anything um, at all. I'm not a fan of both of them, to be honest. I thought Bertrand all right against Villarreal. Apart from that, he hadn't really done much. Vestergaard, I thought I'd seen the back of him after Crystal Palace. Uh, but no, still here. And he could be in the defence on Sunday against Manchester City. Well, what does that show you? I hope that the game isn't postponed because I want to see how we perform. Yes, Pratt and Nacho must have done something wrong. Why don't we play Nacho? Do you know what? Nacho might get a game now if it's believed Bardi's hamstring is playing him up. Bertrand displayed League One quality. Well, this is it. Tunchev's header against Walsall. I'll never forget his own positive impact. <laughs> Jonathan Collins. Love it. I remember that goal. Um, I honestly think for following Justin will come back soon yeah they'll definitely make a difference for sure right then guys one question is Christmas is coming up what would you like to see happen in the new year um, if Santa or Leicester City could bring you something in the new year what would it be what would you like to see under your Christmas tree it could be anything pick anything um Johan Benelawan could have done a job for us. Yeah. Dragovic wasn't bad, though, was he? Uh, Rogers out and top six. Uh, Rogers out. <laughs> Do you 
don't speak too soon, Leicester fans. Let's put it that way, but no. Can't pay, take it away, Nottingham Forest. Take Leicester away. What next season? I mean, Derby had can't pay, take it away once, you know, but look at them now. Um, I'd like to wake up and turn over and Cameron Diaz is staring at me. Andy Medhurst. Laurel and Ardy, they are. Steptoe and Son. You could name Bertrand and Vestergaard. Anything. If you had to pick them as a comedy duo, then what would you put them, put them as? We'll choose the best one. For Cags to stop playing out from the back. That's all comes from Casper, though, isn't it? At the end of the day. That's the way it is. Guys, smash a like, share, subscribe to Leicester Fan TV if you can, please. It's been a real pleasure tonight talking to you guys post-match Liverpool and talking all things in the football club and all things Leicester City. It's been great. Um, really enjoyed the chat tonight. Um, Forest doing well, one point off the playoffs. I hope they get in the playoff final and lose in the final. Imagine, imagine that. We haven't got the guts to get anything. See you on the 28th, Jack. See, see you on the 28th, Sean. Right, guys. Let's have a look what's coming up on Leicester Fan TV then. Um, it's Christmas Eve tomorrow. I won't be here. Reedy will. Um, he'll be talking all things Manchester City out of the Boxing Day clash in the Etihad. The boys will maybe be here for a watch along on Sunday. Um, on Boxing Day, so join the boys for that. Obviously, the Aftermath show on Boxing Day with Jamie. Phil be back on Monday, talking post-match. Um, talking post-match Manchester City. Um, Red Men TV will be joining me Monday afternoon, uh, talking all things Leicester versus Liverpool, head of the, new cl head of the revenge clash at the King Power Stadium um, on on Monday, um, Tuesday, they won't be a show, I'm afraid. Um, Wednesday, I'll be back again. So, we'll be talking all things Leicester City then. Obviously, we, we might even be talking about goal of the year. Let's get out one in there, or player of the year. Let's talk about that. Um, but as always, guys, Merry Christmas. And a happy new year to all Foxes fans from everybody at Leicester Fan TV. I hope you'll get what you asked for. And that is three points against Manchester City at the Etihad on Sunday. Um, if not, then we can just go and get a set of links. That's probably what we'll get anyway instead of three points. It'd be, it'd be boring to see that. Um, the two Stooges. Santa's coming. He is. I'd like to see Zolt Latch go back on the wing and come on, Barry. Remember him? <laughs> I feel like we have a better chance of hanging in versus Manchester to Red Lewis. Merry Christmas, Sean. Merry Christmas, Gray. Um, we will be here next year. We will. Manchester City will turn up like it's nothing. Jonathan, Merry Christmas, pal. Merry Christmas, Jack. And I hope Santa comes and fills your stocking. Fills them with points and a top six finish at the end of the season. That's what I want for Christmas. I want to see Leicester in Europe again. Um, you know, we've got to get through the Europa Conference League first um, against Randers in the playoffs. Um, right, guys, I'm off. Before I go, please smash a like on Facebook and YouTube. Share, subscribe to Leicester Fan TV on YouTube. Follow us on all platforms, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, wherever you can find us at Leicester Fan TV, please do so and push that notification button. Um, I'm off. Excuses, FC. Now nah, I'm all right, pal. I don't make excuses. I state facts. There we go. I don't cry. Um, you know, so I'm all right. Uh, thank you to these guys. ADT, Hologram. Tiger, Peter Pizza Real, Pucker Pies, Pink Car Lisi, Leicester Riders, the Foxes Arms, Nubia Co. And Hope Against Cancer. And thank you to all the guys that's watched tonight. Thanks for the comments, the likes, and everything else. Merry Christmas and a happy new year from all of us here at Leicester Fan TV. This is Jack from Leicester Fan TV saying bye bye for now. Have a great Christmas, everyone, and I will see you next week. Boom. See you in a bit. 
Thanks for watching Lester Fan TV. Thanks to our sponsors, ADT Taxis, Everards, Pucka Pies, Pink Car Leasing, Lester Riders, Hologram, The Fox's Arms, Peter's Pizzeria, Hope Against Cancer, and Newbie and Co Estate Agents. Make sure to follow us on all of our social channels at Lester Fan TV. Visit our website, LesterFanTV.com.